Good evening. I'm going to walk us through an update of our 2015 business plan um, so we can review our target and current numbers um, with projects uh, with our benchmarks uh, that are defined in our business plan for the year. Um, project by type, you can see in the graph um, the distribution of projects that we are working, um, recruitment, existing industry, and um, retention, and this is year to date as well as the project by stage, so the funnel um, of where the projects are currently located. <coughs> um, new projects by lead um, for year to date. Um, you can see um, the lead source, and then we also have created a further report from um, a, a member's question from last month on what was the source of um, an actual like, description. Um, rather than the company type that was making the lead source. Um, so you can see that activity as well. Sure. On our year-to-date new projects, um, our current number of new projects for the year is 20, and our target was 15 for, year, for the year is 15. So from, and from last month, we were at 17, so we have three new projects from last month to this month. Client visits, um, our goal, um, and target for the year is nine client visits. Last month, we for year to date, we were at five. We had one visit between June and July, so we are up, have one additional visit. Expand, year to date expansion and announcements. We did have um, one expansion um, since our June board meeting um, from an existing industry visit. Our target of expansion and announcements for the year is seven, and we have met that. Um, target last month we were at six, and so that one expansion we will um, that Stan will um, discuss it is included in this report this month. Year to date capital investment announcements um, that expansion um, with with Rivulus did include a capital investment, so our we did in, increase our capital investment for the year. Um, our target is forty five million dollars, and currently year twenty eight million dollars just over. Year-to-date new job announcements. Our target for, the, for 2015 is 200 um, new jobs. Um, last month we were at 95 and Regulus also had um, new employment with the expansion um, product production line that they included and so that those jobs were added to our report since June. Year-to-date existing industry visit, our goal for the year is 50, and we are currently at 26. We have five existing industry visits since um, June. Those are there and on in Stan's report. Um, business retention action team referrals. This is a new report created since the last meeting um, for this presentation. Um, we are tracking the business retention action team referrals that we that we make um, while we're out on a visit. So when we identify an opportunity for us to assist an existing industry, we are tracking those um, and the refer the, the counterpart that we refer <coughs> them to. So our um, target is a hundred referrals, and these can be you know these can be training and workforce. It can be donating infrastructure, <coughs> incentives, and financing. Um, that kind of helps us. We want a large engagement with our existing industry, so that's why the referral number is higher than our existing visits number, because we want to interact with our existing industry. That shows a great community support. Um, these are new reports as well for this month's presentation that we um, will be tracking for the year to date. Um, local, regional, and state meetings, so any um, opportunities we have to network within the, locally um, within our su southern region and then also at the state. Um, our target is 35 and our current um, number is 16. Consultant and broker outreach. Um, this will be any one-on-one -on -one interaction with um, and discussion or dialogue with um, consultants regarding Valdosta. Um, and this was, I think, we changed a little bit of the measurements since we made, created the business plan. So our target was 10 and we, our current number is 16. As well as our industry conference and trade shows. And so this would also, this includes um, our, the Consultant Connect, 
um, and marketing events that we are attending for the year. Our target is nine, and we've currently um, attended five meetings. So that's an update on the um, business plan, um, our target and current numbers. Andrea and Stan will talk more on the specific active project activity um, in their report. Last week, well, the, our June Thought Austin Daily Times business spotlight, we uh, took as an opportunity to educate our community on the site selection process um, and explain you know, how the whole the funnel of a project works. And so it's a great opportunity um, for us to sit down with Stuart and for the community to, to see kind of the, how um, business recruitment and attraction works in the timeline. Um, sometimes for those projects. Last Monday, um, we did distribute an, a new pre a press release on the existing on the expansions and announcements we've had for the past six months, which at that time was six. Um, and so those six expansions and announcements have spurred $27.25 million in capital investment and 95 jobs. That um, press release, uh, Valdosta Daily Time, I mean, excuse me, Valdosta CEO, um, ran last Tuesday, and then we also had some news stations, um, WCTV, and also Fox 31 from Albany um, come over and do some a story on, on, that, um, on the, that announcement, which was great, um, and we greatly appreciate it. We are working with Stuart um, on the July business spotlight, which will be the expansion um, business, up, business plan update and current numbers. Um, next will be, we have um, our Made in Valdosta t-shirts um, are here, and um, a fun, cool community pride um, opportunity for us to support local, um, and especially our handcrafted items that are manufactured or ser service provided um, in our community, and so, Several groups we've already distributed the t-shirts to and I um, definitely would love to give you one to take home and wear and um, stay. Yeah. That concludes my report. And so the goal is when everybody wears the Made in Valdosta t-shirt that they can talk about what is actually made here in Valdosta. So um, we have handed these out very strategically to our existing businesses as a flyer graph, Valdosta State University, and working towards um, handing those out. So when you say something, you're able to say, you know, made in Valdosta, what do we make? And um, again, helping to promote community pride and also our existing industries and what they've done for our community. Excellent. Good job, Megan. Thank you. All right. Stay